First of all, if you could like this video before you watch it, that would be really nice, or after you watch it, one or the other. And also, for those of you uh, who might not get it, this video is to help the average player take that next step to become a good player. So keep that in mind when you watch it. What's up, guys? This is Omega Liar, and today I'm bringing you a video that I've been actually thinking about doing a long time. But I didn't want to rush it out because I wanted to make sure that it was accurate, that it was reliable, and that it sort of works for a broad range of people that play the game. Now before I get too far into the gameplay, as you can see, I'm right here I'm using a SMR that's gold, my favorite gun by far, with an ACOG and a foregrip. And that actually leads me to my first point. If you want to get a load star every game, you got to use your favorite gun. And everyone has one. In, in my case, it's the SMR. Um, I, I'm sure you guys probably have a top three. Uh, I basically have a favorite close range gun, a favorite medium range gun, and a favorite long range gun. The SMR falls actually both, for the most part, as my medium and long range gun. And my favorite close range gun is is either the uh, MP4, I'm sorry, MP7 or the Vector. So, generally speaking, when I'm going for those slightly higher up uh, kill streaks, those are the guns I'm going to fall to. Uh, if your gun is the MSMC, use the MSMC. If your gun is the uh, PDW or the foul, use use whatever you want. But the important thing is the gun you're using is a gun that you're efficient with. Uh, this is something I stressed also in the first episode of the series, and how to get a stealth chopper. And that's basically the solid rule that applies to getting any kill streak, uh, whether it be a UAV or whether it be a uh, a swarm. Now, the other important thing is the perks that you run. And I also think it's important that you run perks that work well for whatever map that you're on. <laughs> In this case, I'm running Hardline, Ghost, Toughness, and Dexterity. Dexterity because oftentimes, when I'm going from place to place, I get caught in a sprint. Uh, ghost because it's its not even that I use Ghost to its fullest potential in this game. I don't honestly move around that much. But what I do do is it sort of just gives me a sense of security, even though it doesn't really um, offer that many benefits. So Ghost, you can probably give a miss for this particular tactic. And then Toughness because... Part of the tactic is sticking to long-range, medium-range gunfights, because that's the most reliable way to do it. And as you can see, I haven't really been in a close-range gunfight yet. Right here, I'm sitting on um, holding a spawn trap, picking them off with a long-range weapon that's extremely accurate, and I'm getting easy kills. So that brings me into my first point. You want to... Well, first of all, domination is a great way to do this because it's very predictable. And what you get with predictable gameplay is predictable spawns, predictable traffic patterns, and I cut a bit out there because I got two consecutive deaths. Um, and it really just makes the whole process a lot easier to do. So you're going to want to stick to medium to long range maps. Um, for the closer range maps, it comes more into awareness and gun skill. But on the longer range maps, it, comes more, it becomes more about positioning, which is why you see me run to the top of this plane. I know that I have good enough um, aim to pick people off at these distances and not really get killed. So that's why I come back there. Um, and that's also why you saw me in that spot I was for my first life up much closer. Because I know I'm going to have the advantage and that's going to allow me to build my streaks. So as long as you stick to longer to medium range gun sights and keep your, um, yourself out of harm's way, uh, you're going to have a lot easier time building your streaks. Um, and actually do luck out there because the sniper wasn't able to get the second shot off, but I think you get the idea. Um, and then again, it also comes down to your weapon. If you're using a, a medium range assault rifle, you're not going to want to stand here because you're not going to get any kills. It's going to take five shots. You're going to hit maybe two. So definitely know the weapon you are, position yourself accordingly, and that'll help you build your streaks. But then you have the second important point, the streaks that you need to use. So you've already got your perks. You've already got your gun. It, it's specific to every person. I can tell you what's good, but it really comes down to your play style. But the kill streaks, there's only a few good options in my opinion. But luckily, there are there is some variation. Now the first and possibly most important kill streak in this is the UAV. You gotta start with a UAV. Simply because it'll get you kills and it'll get you assist points. The assist points probably average out at somewhere in between 70 to 100 assist points. So it's almost like a kill. But on top of that, by knowing the position of your uh, of the enemy, or a general's friends and where the enemy is going to be, you can easily pick up extra kills. Um, on top of that, another reason why I like Domination is because you see right there. 
get to pick up a nice 200 points from capturing an objective. So uh, as long as you uh, maintain the spawn flips, you can always take advantage of that. You'll probably get an extra 400 to 600 points a game by ma uh, by monitoring, monitoring, excuse me, monitoring spawn flips. But back on topic, so the kill streaks. UAV I think is essential, and then obviously if you're going for a load star or something around it, load star is essential. Uh, again, this works for kill streaks. that you can do it with dogs, you can do it with swarm. Swarm is a little bit more difficult because it's really high up there. But for the most part. You're going to want to start with UAV, and you're going to want to finish with load start. Now, the middle one is where it gets interesting. Uh, I've played around with the options, and I've broken it down to this. There's three very, very good ones, and it really comes down to what map you're playing on. And those uh, are, excuse me, four. Those are the Escort Drone, the Stealth Chopper, the Sentry Gun, and the Orbital V-Sat. Now... The one you see I'm using here is the Stealth Chopper, and the reason is for that is because it doesn't show up on radar, which means in the long run it's not going to get shot down uh, as quickly, which means it can pick you up 75 to 150 points. As you see right here, it's absolutely doing work on the other team as I pick up my Lodestar. So th that lets you know what I'm saying here does work. Uh, so yeah, you're going to want to with Stealth Chopper, it'll get you a, a solid amount of points. I usually get around 200 points or 2 kills. Um, but that's not the only option you have. Uh, the other option you can run is the Escort Drone. Gets you the same amount of points per kill, and it oftentimes can get you more kills, but it also there's the chance that it gets shot down almost instantaneously, So I and it's a higher kill streak than the Stealth Chopper, so I would actually give the Escort Drone a miss. It is viable, and if you want to use it, go ahead, but I think personally Stealth Chopper is better. Now the other two are kind of interesting. The, you, the Sentry Gun, is sort of map specific. If you have a map that's based on uh, traffic points, uh, the most prominent example I can think of is Carrier. Uh, if you place a, a well-placed sentry gun on that map, it will not only last just about the entire game, but it'll pick you up so many kills. And it's about, I think it's 10 points or 15 points per sentry gun kill. And it'll do all the work for you. On top of that, if you're trying to do traffic control, if you find that the enemy is suddenly on the other side of the map, you can switch to it and pick up kills. So it's essentially like having you in two places at once. So the sentry gun, more map specific, not really good for a map like this because it's very long range, it's easy to dodge, but on a map uh, with a little bit more closer range but still based on sight lines than uh, like carrier, then sentry gun is a great option. And the last one comes down to the closer range maps. If you're on a uh, close range map, you're gonna want to run orbital VSAT. That will pretty much guarantee you a load star or whatever higher kill streak you're running every single time you get one. And if it doesn't, chances are it wasn't because you lost a gunfight. It was because you got grenaded or because uh, some other third reason. Uh, so yeah, those are the three you're going to want to consider. You're going to want to think about the map that you're on. For a wide open map like this, Stealth Chopper works great. For a closer range but still pretty big map like Carrier, Sentry Gun works great. Uh, for a close range map like Raid, Orbital VSAT works great. And that will get you to your load star. So those are the points you want to keep. You want to use a gun that you're familiar with. In my case, it's the SMR. In your case, it might be the M27. Doesn't matter. You're going to want to use perks that suit your play style to the fullest. If you don't run around, don't use Dexterity or Ghost. If you do run around, use Dexterity and Ghost. It doesn't matter. It's just about you being comfortable. And once you have your best setup, it's about how you maneuver the map. Uh, as you can see, throughout the entire game, I maneuvered the map towards mainly towards the outside or in a choke point where I felt comfortable with the advantage. Uh, on top of that, play the objectives uh, when you can and call. make sure you have the proper kill streaks to get your load star. And I think you'll have a lot of luck with this. As always, comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next commentary. Thank you for watching.